side by side, their faces blurred, the Earl and Countess lie in stone, their proper habits vaguely shown as jointed armor, stiffened pleat, and that faint hint of the absurd, the little dogs under their feet. Such plainness of the pre-Baroque hardly involves the eye until it meets his left-hand gauntlet still clasped empty in the other and one sees with a sharp, tender shock his hand withdrawn, holding her hand. They would not think to lie so long. Such faithfulness and effigy was just a detail friends would see. A sculptor's sweet commissioned grace thrown off in helping to prolong the Latin names around the base. They would not guess how early in their supine stationary voyage, the air would change to soundless damage turn the old tenantry away. How soon succeeding eyes begin to look, not read. Rigidly they persisted, linked through lengths and breadths of time. Snow fell, undated. Light each summer thronged the glass. A bright litter of bird calls strewed the same bone-riddled brown. And up the paths, the endless altered people came, washing at their identity. Now, helpless in the hollow of an unarmorial age, a trough of smoke in slow suspend its gains above their scrap of history. Only an attitude remains. Time has transfigured them into untruth. The stone fidelity they hardly meant has come to be their final blazon. And to prove our almost instinct almost true, what will survive of us is love. <laughs>